In the 21st century, humankind confronts a serious crisis about the survival of the natural world. In its march for modernization, man has attacked the very elements that sustain them. Today, as we face the consequence of our actions, we look back for inspiration to a visionary who over 3,000 years ago understood the need to nurture all creation. Zarathustra, the founder of the Zoroastrian religion, claimed divine revelation by one true God, Ahura Mazda, the Lord of light and wisdom. For Zarathustra, creation was spent up the bountiful gift of God to man. See, Zoroastrianism, I believe, is the first revealed religion in the world which promoted this concept of what today man calls ecology. And the reason I believe this is that there are two factors which are brought together in Zoroastrianism, namely the quest for knowledge based upon what one calls the path of Asha, truth. Asha, the divine order of creation, is to live in harmony with the cosmic order and to commit yourself to search for truth in your spiritual, moral and work life. The law of Asha is to follow the path of righteousness. Every righteous deed we perform brings us closer to God. Through the path of Asha, Zoroastrianism strives to inculcate in its followers respect and responsibility towards all creation. The primary duty of man is to act as Hamkar, a God's co-worker, to protect and live in harmony with both the spiritual and natural world. The path of Asha is best exemplified in the liturgical ceremonies of the Jashan and Yasna. Yasna is a priestly act of worship on behalf of the whole community that is performed by two qualified priests who recite 72 chapters of the Avastan Yasna, prayers in a special part of a Zarathustri temple called Dare Mir or Court of the Lord of Ritual. By establishing an area of purity and righteousness, the priest touches the bundle of metal wires or barsam. By doing so, the priest openly chooses the site of Asha, the path of righteousness in this battle. The sacred fire in the Yasna ceremony exemplifies the cosmic principle of Asha Vahista, that is the right order. At the end of the ceremony, the priest carry the energized and purified water back to its original source. 
This is symbolic in terms of the pure and energized mind. In the Yasna ceremony, the priest become directly involved in the cosmic struggle between the Lord of Wisdom and the Lai Drud. Each day the Yasna ceremony thereby reaffirms Asha or Harmony in both spiritual and physical states. Unlike the Yasna ceremony, which is a closed net ceremony, the Jashan ceremony is performed with the entire community. In the Jashan ceremony, all seven Amishaspantas, Amshaspans, they are invited. And that is why we always offer in the Jashan ceremony all objects on which each of the seven Amshaspans presides. The seven guardians of creation are invoked to bless, protect and nurture the environment. The chashni or concentrated food is shared by all in a joyous celebration. For the Zoroastrians, it was about ritual practice. So it's the practice of good words, the practice of good thoughts and the practice of, uh, of, of good words, thoughts and deeds uh, realized in the ritual action that, that is performed symbolically and ritually in the fire temple but in their lives is supposed to, to, to be carried out in their lives. So what, what coheres the, the religion, what brings it together and keeps it going, uh, is, is actually purity, purification. Because that, that's at the heart of Zoroastrianism, is, is purity, purification. Because that, that's all about uh, maintaining the good and perpetuating the, keeping the fire pure, keeping the fire alive, and at the same time, Re rejecting evil and keeping away pollution. So it's very ecologically sound. It's the, it, it, you're dealing with a living thing. You shouldn't pollute the fire with rubbish. You shouldn't burn things to pollute the atmosphere, pollute the sky. You shouldn't pollute the ground. You shouldn't pollute the water. So it, purity is, is actually, it sounds ancient and kind of weirdly, you know, old fashioned and religious, but it's actually what everybody's talking about now is about being ecologically healthy and keeping the planet alive. So the Zoroastrians don't do that. They, they don't pollute the world. And, and that's what the religion is all about. In a world turned apart by conflict, the Asha concept becomes a model of hope and despite it must be protected and preserved at all cost.